Welcome back here in downtown Panama City uh, with Dutch Sanger, Executive Director of the Downtown Improvement Board, here for Festival of Nations. 11th annual, yep. 11th. I was going to say, I had the uh, fortune of working with Dave Jackson uh, 11 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, trying to kick off the first one. Uh, I know that was about the time you came on board, wasn't it? I came on not long after that, but okay. uh, yeah, 2003. So you got a beautiful day here, Dutch. You've got a large crowd of people. Um, historically, merchants along the street have either embraced the event or complained about the event, depending on which side of the fence they were on. I would imagine that today they're all quite happy. Uh, this event here is more of a shopping event, so the merchants are very happy about this one. People are down here, they have a higher disposable income, uh, but it's a, it's a whole different genre as opposed to Friday Fest. So the people that are down here are shopping, having a good time, and they're spending some money. Well. And uh, as we see, we've got quite a few people here, quite a few nations, quite a few cultures represented. Uh, we've got some uh, Mideastern. We have some of the uh, uh, Asian, uh, Asiatic states. Um, what? Uh, give me a thumbnail sketch of what uh, somebody will see we're coming down here today. Well, you have f five different villages, 30 different countries represented, all kinds of traditional dance, all kinds of traditional music and food. This is a great time. Yeah, uh, we're getting ready to eat. I wanted to interview you before I got something stuck between my teeth. <laughs> But um, you've got great partnership with, uh, with again, the downtown merchants, but more importantly, the community at large. Uh, Budweiser, uh, historically been a part of the event. You enjoy a good relationship with them. Yeah, Budweiser and Coke are major sponsors. Bill Burke has been a sponsor for quite some time. So, you know, we got a lot of uh, community partners. And, uh, you know, I've got to thank everybody, the, you know, the media that's out there supporting us also, and people such as yourself. And uh, I really appreciate it. And this just makes it a great community event. You know, I can't help but notice the new uh, downtown signs have the real Yellow Pages logo on there. Uh, what a stroke of genius. Now, I'm, I'm presuming that they came forth with some of the uh, funding to do those. Well, what happened is uh, I, they, I addressed them several years ago and asked them about a barter agreement to try to get us more web presence and more presence. And uh, over the years, it's just kind of gotten bigger and bigger. And uh, they provide a lot of the banners that we have down here. And they, they last about a year uh, with the hot sun that we have down here. But um, it, this is a great partnership. It's worth, uh, you know, in the six-figure range on what the value is. So it's just been working out really good with us. Yeah, and congratulations on that. And it doesn't go unseen. You're right. Uh, You've, you're t today, 10 to 6, is that correct? It's going 10 to 8, and then from 8 to 10, they do a Latin dance party up in the Latin Village. And that's really, uh, everybody kind of leaves here, starts tacking away some stuff, and they all head up there and just kind of have a blowout for two hours. Wow. So it sounds like that's worth sticking around for. It's, it's fun. It's pretty fun. There's some great dancers up there, I tell you. And you get all the different villages are all up there, so you have the Asiatic, you have everybody up there dancing. It's a good time. Now, the crowd seems to wax and wane. Uh, we, when we first got here, there were quite a few people. It kind of died down a little bit. Eight-hour uh, event or 10-hour event, then plus the two hours at the end, um, I imagine that you've got people that maybe even come back uh, a couple of times during the day. Well, we get a lot of people that come down with their families. They come down with the kids, and the kids get restless after a while. So they take them home and uh, let them take a nap or something like that. Or they get a babysitter, and then they come back down for the adult playtime. So. Well, congratulations on a great event. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. you uh, have been a key part of the Downtown Improvement Board's efforts uh, for many years now. Uh, and uh, all in all, it looks like quite successful. Uh, you got new events on the horizon? we got all kinds of exciting new things. Uh, with Friday Fest, uh, it just has exploded the last four years. Uh, it just keeps getting bigger and better. And uh, we started to actually with some statewide recognition for that event. And uh, I plan to take it up a notch if I can. So we're going to see what happens. Well, good for you. Again, congratulations uh, on a beautiful day. I know that the DIB will take it, take credit for that if, if, uh, if allowed to. Probably, so, probably. And shame on you if you don't. <laughs> uh, but it is a great event. Uh, we're going to get ready here and uh, see if we can't uh, find something to eat. I think you will. You have any recommendations? What have you been eating today? Uh, I, right behind you right here in the uh, Lupia. Oh, boy, stuff's to die for. Thanks again for being our guest on the show. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you next time. All right. Thank you, Paul. You're watching Real Florida TV, and if you're someone you know would like to be a guest on the show, or maybe there's something you'd like to see featured, just give us a call, drop us an email, or visit our website at realfloridatv.com. We'll be right back with more from Real Florida TV. Ooh.